Hello everyone, welcome back to Amin Maths Club. Today we have a nice algebraic problem that is a times b plus a is equal to 32 and a times b plus b is equal to 31. So here we have to find the value of a and b. Now it is our equation 1 and it is our equation number 2. So let's start our solution. If we just subtract this equation 2 from 1, so we get that subtracting equation 2 from 1. Here left hand side of equation 1 is a times b plus a that is negative sign which is left hand side of equation b is uh, equation 2 is a times b plus b is equal to right hand side of equation 1 is 32 minus right hand side of equation 2 is 31. Now here a times b plus a and minus here we get a times b this minus time plus we have minus b is equal to 32 minus 31 is equal to 1. Now our next step will be this plus a times b and minus a times b is cancelled. We get a minus b is equal to 1. So here if we just express this equation with respect to a, it will be a is equal to b plus 1. So if we just put this value of a putting this value of a in equation 2 so our equation 2 will be that is here we have our equation 2 a times b plus b is equal to 31 so equation 2 implies that here a times b plus b is equal to 31 but value of a is b plus 1 so a is b plus 1 times this b plus b is equal to 31 now b times b is b squared plus b times 1 is b plus b and shifting this one we get minus 31 is equal to 0 now b squared plus b plus b is 2b minus 31 is equal to 0 now it is a nice quadratic equation we have to solve this by using quadratic formula so here value of a is equal to 1, value of b is equal to 2, and value of c is equal to minus 31. Now according to our quadratic formula, b is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Here we have b is equal to value of b is 2 so we have minus 2 plus minus square root of b squared which is 2 squared that is 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4 and here we have 4 times 1 times minus 31 all over 2 times a so 2 times a is 1 then we get 2 1 is 2 so here b is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus time minus is plus 4 times 31 is 4 1 is 4 4 threes are 12 we get 124 all over 2 here we have that minus 2 plus minus 124 plus 4 is 128 all over 2 now b is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 128 is also equal to 64 times 2 all over 2 now it can be written as minus 2 plus minus 64 square root times square root of 2 all over 2 now our next step will be here we have b is equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 64 is equal to 8 times square root of 2 all over 2 so if we take here 2 is common then inside bracket we have minus 1 plus minus 4 square root of 2 and all over 2 so this 2 is cancelled out with 2 now the value of b is equal to minus 1 plus minus 4 times square root of 2 so here we have two values of b 
that first one is b is equal to that is b1 is minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 and b2 is equal to minus 1 minus 4 times square root of 2. Now to find the value of a we have just recall our equation that here a is equal to this equation a is equal to b plus 1 so here a is equal to b plus 1 so if we just put the value of b1 then it will be a1 now a1 is equal to b which is equal to minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 and this plus 1 here this minus 1 will be cancelled out with plus 1 so we have the value of a1 is equal to 4 times square root of 2 now we get our first pair of values so a and b that is we have our first pair which is value of a is 4 times square root of 2 and value of b is minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 now for finding other pair we have to just use uh, this value here b2 so here we have a will be a2 value of b is minus 1 minus 4 times square root of 2 and this plus 1 so plus 1 minus 1 is cancelled we get a2 is equal to minus 4 times square root of 2 now we get our second pair here that value of a2 is minus 4 square root of 2 and value of b is minus 1 minus 4 times square root of 2 here we get two set of values of a and b which is our final answer now we have to just verify our problem here by using any pair of values so let's consider we are going to use our first pair you can also try a uh, second pair you will get the answer same as from first pair so now recall our problem which is our first equation is a times b plus a is equal to 32 and our second equation is a times b plus b is equal to 31 now putting the value of a which is 4 times square root of 2 times value of b is minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 and value of a is plus 4 times square root of 2 is it equal to 32 now we are going to just check our equations here so here this 4 times square root of 2 times this 1 we get minus 4 times square root of 2 so plus 4 times 4 is 4 squared and square root times square root of 2 whole squared plus 4 times square root of 2 is it equal to 32 now here minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 4 squared is 16 times this square is cancelled out with square root we get 2 plus 4 times square root of 2 is it equal to 32 here we have this minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 4 times square root of 2 is cancelled 16 times 2 is 32 which is equal to 32 hence our left hand side of this equation is equal to right hand side so it is valid value of a and b for equation number 1 now for equation 2 we are going to put the same values 4 times square root of 2 times minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 plus value of b is minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 is it equal to 31 now here 4 times square root of 2 multiplying into parentheses we get minus 4 times square root of 2 plus 4 squared is 16 times square root of 2 whole squared and here we have minus 1 plus 4 times square root of 2 is it equal to 31 now here we see that minus 4 times square root of 2 is cancelled with minus 4 plus 4 times square root of 2 so here 16 times this square is cancelled out with square root we get 2 minus 1 is it equal to 31 so 16 times 2 is 32 minus 1 is it equal to 31 so 32 minus 1 is 31 that is equal to 31 
so our left hand side is equal to right hand side hence we prove that values of n b is valid for equation 2 as well so that's it for today thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye